Hi all, Dr. Ryan Edwards with Windermere Dental in Cumming, Georgia. Thanks for coming back to my channel where we talk about all things related to dental news and answer your commonly asked questions. So today we're talking about uh, preventing white spots around braces. Um, it's a super annoying thing. You go through like two years of having braces on your teeth or sometimes doing Invisalign, but usually this is more of a problem with when you have metal braces. And you go through all that trouble and then you take the braces off and they look really nice and straight. Your bite look, feels fantastic but then you have these white spots everywhere and super annoying. Um, so I'm gonna give you some tips today on how to prevent that from happening and uh, hopefully give you some information on what we can do to treat it if it does happen. All right, so bottom line is I gotta give you some background on why, it form, why those white spots form to begin with. Uh, it all really boils down to dental plaque. Dental plaque is the goo that forms on your teeth if you don't brush your teeth very good. And it's a mix of bacteria and fungus and uh, proteins and minerals all that are in your mouth. And it makes this goo. Think about it like a slime. The technical term for it is a biofilm. And uh, it, in your mouth, it's kind of clear or whitish. Um, and actually, if you don't brush for several days, you could try this as an experiment yourself. You'll actually see like this white fuzz forming on your teeth. That's dental plaque. And it's easier to get off your teeth when you don't have braces but it's a heck of a lot more difficult to get off when you have all these braces on your teeth, the metal brackets and the wires. It's a lot of work, it's a big challenge. If you can get that stuff off your teeth, you've got a le much less uh, likelihood of getting those white spots. So what happens is the, uh, the plaque sits on your teeth and it can accumulate most easily right around the bracket and around your gum area. And those are the most common spots people miss when they're brushing and flossing really good. And if you leave it there and it accumulates over time, then you'll actually lose calcium from your enamel. And that's what's causing the white spots is the loss of calcium. And that's actually how cavity can begin. Um, but sometimes that process starts while you're having your braces on, it never really fully forms a cavity, but it weakens the enamel enough to make them have a white, uh, like a haze to them. They look almost like a chalky type color. And then you get your braces off and you might see like a square outline of where the bracket was, or you might see like this white moon shape around the gum areas. and that's what's happened. You've lost calcium from the enamel and you've gotten white spots now. All right, so how do you prevent that? Brushing and flossing. Brushing should take you at least two minutes, if not three, when you have braces on your teeth and you really should floss every day too to get that crud out from between your teeth. Um, so you know how to brush. You wanna brush in circles. That's the best way to do it. Use an electric brush, that's also fantastic and get in that area between the brackets and your gums and get all on both sides of those metal brackets and spend two to three minutes brushing everything really well. And that's gonna be a huge help. All right, so one of the things most people have, a hard, have the hardest time with cleaning around braces is with the flossing. So what I will do is I'll recommend to use some different techniques you can use to floss. And this is one of them. You can actually use, this is called a floss threader and you can get these at the drugstore and what you do is you um, just you loop the floss through here and hold it in there and like a needle and thread almost and get this between the braces. Or what I sometimes like to do is I'll actually tie a knot so it's much more secure and I don't have to worry about it coming apart while trying to floss around there. But that's one option. It's a little more work, but it works really well because you can get the floss in between the teeth and then floss like you would normally. Um, and then this one is called an uh, uh, interproximal cleaner. It's like a little pipe cleaner, which you can use. There's a little uh, bit of wire in the middle with tufts of, of uh, bristles. I'm not a big fan of this because of that metal wire. Uh, sometimes it can injure the gums and uh, really be uncomfortable. So what I like even better than that are these soft picks. And you can get these from the drugstore. They're just like the other ones, but they're made out of like a softer rubbery material. These are a lot easier to, to clean around. They're not, they're not gonna be as likely to injure the gums. So you can try those. Uh, another product you can try is something called, um, they're called gum chucks. Uh, and they're, they're kind of, they look like nunchucks, hence the term, that's where they got the term gum chucks. And you can use those to floss around braces too. I'll put a link down below and you can check out that product, see if you like it. Um, so that's a really good way to floss. Now this other product here called MI Paste. Uh, is something that I've recommended to a lot of patients. And I know some of my other colleagues have had really good results. What this does, this is actually a, a compound that contains milk proteins and calcium. And it's not for people, if you're allergic to milk, I wouldn't recommend it because it is derived from milk proteins. Um, if you're lactose intolerant, it's fine, not a problem. But if you're allergic, don't use it. But this is great because it's kind of like, I call it liquid calcium for your teeth. 
uh, this has calcium available uh, to replace any calcium you lose from your enamel. And you can apply this to your teeth after you brush and floss, or some people will use this instead of toothpaste. And it works great. And uh, there has been some promising research done on it so far. Um, there's not really a lot of really solid research on it. In fact, in 2006, I believe it was, some researchers had a nice summary, a meta-analysis of the research that's been done up until that time, which showed that there's promise, um, not a lot of solid re evidence that we can recommend it for sure. But I've had good results from it, and I know a lot of other colleagues have, have had as well. Um, this actually is what we can use a lot of times if you develop white spots and we don't know until after your braces come off that you have them. We can use this to start to treat those white spots and try to reverse them to a certain degree. It depends on how bad the white spots are. So that's a really good product to use. All right, so good. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you have questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, remember to like this video. That's a big help for me. And you can subscribe to this channel. We'll have more information coming forward to help you keep your teeth healthy and hopefully get through this crazy time. Make sure you stay safe and um, wash your hands well. Do the social distancing as you've been instructed and do your best to uh, keep everything uh, healthy and clean. And good luck. We'll see you next time. Thanks.